Hey guys, hope you're all good today. Previously we've seen how to import sources and targets in the source analyzer and the target define, uh, designer in Informatica Power Center 9.6.1 designer. Today let's take a look at a mapping where we'll transfer data from one database table to another database table. To do that we need to create a target database as we already have a source database which is the HR database which we used earlier. So let's go to SQL plus here we log in with the username using system and the password is Oracle that we've set earlier. Now let's create a new user create user target identified by Oracle okay let's put it as target use as created now let's give it the DBA rights grant DBA to target <clears throat> okay now that we've created the new user we need to connect to the database to see uh, to create new tables and everything so what we'll do is we'll create a new table in the target database as an exact replica of the source table in the HR database. We can use any uh, software to access the database. I will be using Teradata's SQL Assistant. So first let's connect to the HR database which will be our source database. So let's connect here. We will connect to the test1 ODBC connection that we've created earlier. And here we will give the username as HR with the password being HR as well. Okay, so expand the HR and expand tables. You can see that we have multiple tables here. Countries, departments, employees, job history, jobs, location, regions. So let's start off with the employees table we'll create a mapping for the employees table so let's see how this has been created okay this is the create statement for the employees table now let's open another instance of the sql assistant so we can connect to the target database here click on odbc connection again we will select the test one that uh, odbc connection but this time we'll use the username target with the password target to connect <clears throat> okay yeah target password being target okay now this target database is empty at the moment so let's create a new table in the database copy the create statement from the HR database and paste it in the targets window okay let me see yeah uh, change the database name to target and then execute the statement okay now you can see that the table has been created and you can also verify from here that the employees table has been created in the target database okay let's move on to creating the mapping now and to do that or let's first create another uh, target another table copy another table from the source table so let's copy the departments table from here to the target database change the HR to target and execute the statement and refresh this expand the tables you can see that departments and employees table have been created now so let's move on to the mapping section now and we can see from here that and the employees table in the target database is empty yeah zero count so yeah okay 
Now, let's close the designer that I've opened earlier and let's go to the start menu. Navigate to Informatica 9.6.1 Client Power Center uh, Client Power Center Designer. We will connect to the Infar Training Repository using the username Administrator and Password Oracle. Click Connect. Now we will open the training folder where we will be creating the mappings. So firstly, what we need to do is we need to import the source in the source analyzer. The source we will be importing from a database, which is the HR database. So let's click on import from database. Select the test one ODBC connection. Username is HR. The owner name will automatically be uh, inputted as HR. The password is HR. Click connect. This will take a little time. <coughs> Okay, yeah, the HR database is visible now. So let's see what we have in the HR database. Expand this, expand the tables. We need to create the mapping for employees. So let's select the employee table and click OK. OK, now the employees table has been imported into the workspace. So let's import the target to open the target designer targets import from database select the test one username is target owner's name is target as well the password is target as well click connect okay now expand the targets database tables and we'll select employees from this click okay yeah now we have the source and the target imported into the Informatica designer. So let's move over to the mapping designer. We'll skip the maplet and the transformations designer. We'll come to that later. So let's create a mapping, mappings create. Let's name it as M underscore employee, which is our source, underscore employee, which is our target. Okay. Now you can see the mapping has been created. We have source instances, targets, transformations in it. So let's import, bring in the sources and targets into the mapping. Expand the sources and drag and drop it to the workspace. You'll notice that a source qualifier has automatically been attached to the source. This is always the case. The source qualifier will come with the sources as it qualifies the source columns which can be used further in the mappings. Similarly, drag and drop the target to the workspace. Okay. <clears throat> now we need to connect the source qualifier columns to the target columns. This will be a one-to-one -one mapping as we won't be putting in any transformations for now. So select all the columns from the source qualifier, click on them, drag them, and bring them over to the target and drop them on the first column. Now you can see that the threads have been connected from the source qualifier to the target. And we have a new mapping which can transfer data from the source HR employees table to the target's employee table. So in the later sessions, we'll be seeing how to create mappings for different scenarios. Click save and you can see that we have notifications in the notification bar. The target employee has been inserted, a source employee has been inserted and you can see that the mapping employee underscore employee is valid. If this was invalid, we would have seen it here, but as far as it is valid, it's all good. So this would be it from our site today. We learn how to make more mappings and sessions and workflows in the coming lectures. So stay tuned and thank you for staying with us. Take care.